Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Not My Shop. We're going to watch the Air Goes F-250, currently parked somewhere in Kansas City because I'm really bored and I, I just want another car, so uh, that's what we're doing. It's 5.25 in the afternoon, Yeah, to be precise. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's a thing. And there it is. Yeah, so as it turns out, it's way, way cheaper to just buy a absolutely uh, trashed Honda Insight than just buying some parts for one. So this has, you know, a battery pack, transmission, engine, some miscellaneous interior parts that'll be nice to have. So we're gonna, yeah, yeah, it comes with a tree. Look at that. That's like a whole, it's like a, it's a whole thing, you know? We're, we're gonna start a nursery, it's gonna be great. So we gotta get that on there and we don't have a winch. That was a saucy sounding Magnum with an exhaust cut off and uh, yeah, hopefully this will uh, help keep mine running for... Probably a banger. Tracy Chapman let it rain. <laughs> <laughs> right oh man, that's perfect. Oh boy, that's diseases. Yep. Oh, check it out. It's got the seats with the holes in them. That's obviously for your racing harness so that you can uh, with, withstand... Yeah, it's so you can withstand all the massive G-forces that you're going to pull in this car. It's also got all four wheels, which is uh, which is pretty nice too. I could uh, have a set of wheels with winter tires and another set with those one tire that they make a tire specifically for this car that's like super low rolling resistance and the right size for it. Apparently, there's no enough of a demand that uh, Bridgestone still makes them. Okay, looks like I'm I'm driving because I weigh the least. Oh man, oh this feels like diseases. All right, ready? Uh, parking brake is off. It's it. Gear? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was in gear. I got it. Oh, what got on my pants? That okay, looks. Here's our plot. That looks gross. All right, everybody Ew. come stand up. <laughs> Doing what? Oh, stand up here to counterweight it. Look at your puppy. Yeah. Puppy okay, dog. It's working. Yes. <laughs> okay, Jake. Your job is to go over there and lock it in. Job sucks. Okay, okay right, so I gotta do good. it without getting off. How does this work? Just uh, it's up. pick up on it and then pin it. It's yeah. Locked. Oh man, uh, what's the over under on parts flying off of this as we go down the highway? Oh, there's a different radio. I kind of dig the way that looks. Okay. <laughs> oh, but you'll damage the bumper. I don't care about your bumper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess now we just got to get this thing back to Wichita. I'm sure that'll go fine. I almost forgot. I got to do the thing. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Oh gosh, there's a curb. I might die though. Look underneath it. That's all diesel. What? What happened? Um, where's this diesel coming from? Right? No? You know, I think it's like the injection, the injection pump or something. It smells terrible, let's shut it down. It is one in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the truck status is still broken, but we're answering a lot of good questions today, like how good of a beard oil is diesel fuel really? And the answer so far is I feel rugged and handsome and very tired. Luckily, our rescue has come in the form of a Dodge Ram. Wait, wait, where is he? Did he follow he's us? at the pump. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh God, he left. Nope. <laughs> at the pump. Yeah, so AAA uh, just kind of completely dipped on us. They have not found a driver and it's been like three hours at this point. Luckily Eric came and uh, he hooked up to the trailer. So we're still gonna get the inside home and then we just kind of limped the truck down the road to a uh, Hardee's so that AAA can find it easy. I had an emergency water sitting here the whole time. We were sitting two hours. Yeah, I also I also had a water. It, But I actually I, remembered mine. I didn't know it was in the door. <laughs> and now all I wanted was water. Yeah, I, w I was sitting here for like a solid hour going, man. Drinking I was... your water is like some kind of king on his throne. No, I was real jealous of your <laughs> drink that you had. I was like, man, I wish I had a drink right now. And then I remembered I had a water and it was the greatest moment ever. And I killed it. Yep, and yep, yep. So now, now that we finally 
I have a truck. We've got two more hours what? of driving before we're in Wichita. Cool. And then we have to unload the Insight. Then we have to... I have to still get my car. Or I don't. Your Insight might end up at the shop. Yeah, that's... We'll yeah. do it tomorrow. We can message... We can just leave it there, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just look at how clean these steps are. Look at that. That's... Uh, ignore that part. Look at look at how clean they are. The diesel just makes everything shine. This is the best detail that you've ever seen. How's it looking underneath this thing? Yep, that's still a puddle of diesel under there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, F-250. What's wild is that while we were sitting there in the truck just killing time, a Honda Accord pulled up and pulled in front of us and stopped and we were like, oh boy, we're gonna have to like explain ourselves to this random guy. He came back, he was like, hey, it's Watch JR Go. And we're like, what? <laughs> Dude, just random fan recognized the truck out in the middle of nowhere outside Ottawa, Kansas. And, you know, the the body-colored grill guard is just real distinctive because uh, I've never seen one before. I've seen this body-style truck with a black one because that's how they came, but nobody bothered to paint match them. So everyone <laughs> just recognizes this random F-250 and we just kind of talked trucks with the guy, killed a half hour, it was great. Yeah. That's actually the second time we've been recognized today. There was a couple guys at a truck stop earlier that recognized, just, yeah, they were. Cars and coffee was wild though. Oh, People yeah. from states everywhere. <laughs> Yo! I was like, oh, hey, what's up? It's weird, I'm not sure how I feel about that stuff. I don't know if my channel gets that big if I'll be all gung-ho about getting recognized in Walmart. <laughs> we are finally back on the road. Look at this. Got a brand new truck. Body color grill. 2019 Ram, I think. I freaking love it. The thing is gorgeous. Hopefully now, just two hours and we'll be unloading this thing somewhere. I don't know if we're taking it to the warehouse or not, but hey, works for me. It is the next day. As you can see, we did get the car home. Uh, I didn't end up getting home until about 4 a.m. last night. Last I knew, AAA still had not dispatched a tow truck to pick up John Ross's Super Duty. So as near as we know, it's still sitting at a truck stop in the middle of Kansas. But uh, here we have two Honda Insights. Cool, my pile of garbage grows. Wonderful, let's take a look at uh, what I bought. So it might have seemed like spending the money on a car like this was a bit of a waste, but there is a wealth of parts from this that will keep mine going for hopefully a very long time. I love to have this spare set of wheels complete with center caps. That's pretty great. Also the entire engine and transmission. I intend on doing a compression test while it's still in the car. Then I'm gonna remove the power plant and I'm just gonna kinda re-gasket it, you know, valve cover gasket, oil pan gasket. I'm gonna scope the bores and see if there's been any piston slap going on, because I'm pretty sure that car has some piston slap. It hasn't really gotten any worse uh, the, in the time that I've owned it, but nothing I've done has made it any better. And no, it is not valve adjustment. Valve adjustment is absolutely perfect on that car. Uh, we'll see if this engine needs anything, like valve stem seals or anything like that, and just really give it a super good looking over and make sure that it's as good as it can be and then uh, stick it in the silver car. The transmission I'm going to take apart. Uh, there's an issue with the first and second gear synchros on this. Honda did what's known as a double cone synchro design which was designed to make the shift a lot easier uh, but what it actually does is uh, go bad and make the shifts grind which is why we have to double clutch that when we downshift in a second so you can take this apart and you can actually dremel off a couple of tabs on those double cone synchros to turn them back into normal synchros and then the transmission is great also going to replace the input shaft bearing because this is a honda manual trans which means the input shaft bearing is going to go bad at some time it's just a matter of when uh, this bumper has the grill still intact which 
I love. I'll definitely be taking that and putting that in my grill. Uh, that was removed for the tow bar that was on mine because it was towed behind an RV. Uh, and the interior here, this is an 04, so some things are different. It's got later model seats, which are absolutely trashed, but I am gonna try and take the seat rail off of this one, uh, probably minus the <laughs> LED light strip, because my seat rail is just a giant mound of rust, and this one is a lot better. So I'll see if I can get that apart, take it off the seat, and then I'll have to use an angle grinder to remove mine out of that car because it is like, the bolt heads are just a, a pile of rust. Uh, in the interior here, Airbag and steering wheel, yep, I'll keep those. I'm going to take this whole uh, dash panel and keep that. I'm going to try and rebuild this window switch uh, just because, you know, these go bad in every single one. It's bad in mine. So I'm going to fix that, and then I'll have a good window switch, and then I'll probably fix the one in there. So we'll have two good window switches. I'm going to keep the uh, gauge cluster because those go bad frequently. Uh, HVAC unit, might as well. This later model radio, I really like the way it looks. I'm going to try and modify that to have internal Bluetooth. Um, CD tape, but it doesn't have a tape deck anywhere. That's very strange. I'm actually not entirely sure how that works. Um, there's not a whole lot else up here. Um, in that door, I'll probably take the regulator and motor and try to make the motor work on the driver's side of my car. I wish this had the floor mats. Unfortunately, those are missing. Um, not a whole lot else up here. Uh, these? So, th these have, these are plastic panels. And they have clips under here, and those clips like to leak, and then it will uh, leak water down onto the uh, uh, seat belt. It's a very, very common issue on these, the wheat, wet seat belt issue. Say that ten times fast. Uh, but these can break when you take them off, so I'm going to practice taking these off, and if I'm successful, I'll keep these as spares, and uh, then I can hopefully make that car watertight. And back here... And the hatch, let's see if I can get this open. Oh, the struts are blown. I'm going to be keeping this hatch itself because that is a large chunk of glass and I imagine it's almost impossible to get replacements for. This does have the, uh, the Honda mat that goes back here. Mine is missing that, so that's pretty cool. There's no CD changer back here like mine. A uh, piece of wood, probably to hold up this hatch. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we've got a nice Honda that it says insight no stains or anything i love that and then underneath all of that is the battery pack and that's really the crux of this whole thing i'm going to take that battery pack out hook it up to the grid charger and charge the whole thing as a unit instead of taking it apart like i did my other one and then i'm going to discharge it and charge it and discharge it over the course of three or four days then throw it into my car and see if it works or not hopefully it does and then i'll just have my silver car back um, and I can continue refurbishing its pack in pieces uh, over the course of however much time, but, uh, you know, I really want my neat hybrid back, so hopefully this is the quickest way to get that accomplished. And, uh, yep, we got one good tail light. Probably keep that. Oh, also going to take the uh, front suspension off. If I remember correctly, these shocks are very, very difficult to get a hold of. Other than that, I don't think there's a whole lot here uh, that really needs to come off this car. Um, the front bumper is actually in decent shape. It's the wrong color for mine. So once I'm done taking off all that stuff that I need, I'll probably just see if uh, anyone locally needs anything else off this before uh, I try to find someone who can dispose of the shell because I've got way too much stuff around here. I'm genuinely worried that if someone sees this sitting here, I'm going to get a uh, a notice from the city for too many inoperable unregistered vehicles on my property because there is a restriction on that so this kind of has to be a fast strip down i don't own an engine lift so i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to get that stuff removed but hey we'll figure it out hopefully uh hopefully this will be coming in the next week or two i'll get this thing stripped down uh, it is absolutely hot as heck out here it's already like 90 degrees but so there we have it. I thought this was going to be a super quick episode with not much content of just going to Kansas City and back, uh, but what was going to be like a seven hour trip turned into a 14 hour adventure. <laughs> um, unfortunately, <laughs> I, um, yeah, that's just kind of my luck for uh, my buddy's truck to just break down when he's helping me tow some garbage back from Kansas City. But uh, 
hey, what are you going to do? It made some good content. <laughs> and I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time.